Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified Get Baked Highlighter Palette. So this is a highlighter palette and this is one of my favorite highlighter palettes of all time. This was $20 at Ulta and for 15 highlighters that are this good, it's definitely, um, it's definitely worth it. Especially if you can get a coupon, like $15 off whatever or whatever they have usually. Um, so I'm going to read to you what it says online about this first and then I'll get into the swatches and why I love them so much. So this retails for $20 at Ulta. This has a full 5 stars rating. And it says the ultimate way to get baked. Makeup Revolution's Get Baked Face Palette features 8 shades to highlight your face and body in an array of finishes. Ranging from light to dark, suitable for all skin tones, everything you need to glow every day of the year. That's what it says, and I agree with all that. This is a very, very nice glowy palette, and it probably looks amazing on everyone's skin. So I'm just going to get started with this. First of all, the packaging is amazing. Like, how can this be drugstore if it's this good of packaging? Like, it's not plas it's plastic, but it's not like cheap plastic. It's durable. Durable. I don't even know, though. I, I can't talk. I can't talk. It's durable, so it's like not cheaply made. It has a nice close. It's easy to open. And the pans are decent size. Like, these would last you a while. So I'm going to get started with swatching. So the first one I'm going to swatch is the color called Holding. This is a pinky. This is pink with a little bit of white in it. So these are actually really soft. So here's this color. And some of these are not going to show up that great on my hand because my hand is really white. But as you can see, that's one swipe that's super pigmented. The next one is called Rich. This is a golden yellowy color right here on my middle finger. So people with dark skin, light skin are very tan. So here's the color Rich. As you can see, it's a golden shimmery color. The next one is called Bird with like this coppery orange with yellow inside of it. So here's Bird. Right there, the one I just swatched. So right there is Bird. So I'm running out of space already. And the next one is called Lush and this has pink with brown in it. So this is like a little bit of a pink right here. And I will swatch that at the top of my hand. Okay, I need to clean my hands off first. Because they're getting all mixed up now. Oh boy. I hate when this happens. When you're swatching and you just make a mess. So these look best tested out on the face. Maybe I'll do like a few on my face. Even though I kind of already have highlight on my face. But maybe we can just go over that. So I could probably do that. Which I probably will in the end. That way you guys can see a better view. So I'll swatch Lush again. Here's Lush. This is a pinky color. Like a salmon pink. Like a, you know. This is a very like subtle pink. The next one is next to that is called Whistle. And this is a purpley color. That's Whistle. So for some reason these are not coming up good on my hands, but they come out really good on my face. So here's Whistle. The next one is called Pearl. This is a white with some gold in it, wrapped in it. This one shows up nice. This is Pearl. The next one is called Glisten. So it's another pink. So I'm probably going to do some of these on my face because they're not showing up that great on my hands. But they show up nice on the face. Like I'll show you here in a few minutes. I'm just going to swatch a few more. So I'll do Call, which is another golden yellow. This is more of a gold than a yellow though. So here's Call. That's a better swatch. 
I will do a shine, which is a purple. This is a purpley color. Here is shine, right next to that color. The next one I will do is shady, which is a definitely like a golden uh, highlight. And there is shady, right next to that one. Okay, so I'm going to go get a little highlight brush, and I'm going to show you how good they work on my skin. Because that's only fair. I can't let you guys go without that. Doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere after this anyway. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to apply Rich on my cheekbone right here to show you guys. Like, see what I mean? It didn't really show up that well on my face. I mean my hands, but it does, look at that on my face. Like that's like bam in your face. Like that is so pretty. And I did a huge swipe, like right over near my eye area. So you can tell, like look how pretty that looks. So I'm just gonna highlight my whole face to show you guys like little swatches. So that way you guys can like get the idea of like, okay, this is a good palette. So I'm gonna do shine next and I'm gonna do shine right here. So this is the purpley one. That's like really, really good. Like, come on, you guys can't beat that. Like, that's so pretty. The next one I'm gonna do is Shady, which is a gold, like I said. I'm gonna do this one on my cheekbone. So this one would probably look best on someone with darker skin because it's a little bit too dark for me and it comes off as a bronzer. So if you're light skin like me, I recommend using this as like a bronzer. So you could probably like really like blend this out with like a bigger, thicker brush, but this works better as a bronzer. I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably get away with using it as a highlight, but it's not really a highlight. It's more of a bronzy shade. So I don't really recommend it for that color for light skin girls like me. So, but if you're darker, it's gonna look beautiful on you. So the next one I'll do is the white called Pearl. And I'll do that down my nose. And this is Pearl. Look at that, I look like freaking, I look like I'm glowing. So pearl, that's pearl. I just wanted to do like a few of these on my face. That way you guys get a little something. That Because it's better to see on the face than it is like on the hands, if you know what I mean. So the next one I'll do is, I will do the color sweet and I will do this on my forehead. So right here I will do sweet. And this is a pink, just like our regular pink shade. That's beautiful as well. I will do one more and I will do the pink with the light, with the white in it. And I'll do that at the, and I'll do that at the top of my, like right up here. So I will show you the pink shade that I'm putting up here. So let me just see. So this pink shade is probably best for somebody with darker skin as well because it comes up a little bit too bright on my face. So as you can see, like it's probably not good for somebody with light skin like me. So if you're dark skin, you're, this is probably going to work great for you, this color. Or you could even use this as an eyeshadow, but this is not good for somebody that's light skin like I am. And that color is called Lit. So those are the swatches that I could do on my face as of right now because I don't have any more room. I mean, I guess I could put some like on my cheeks if I wanted to. So I'll do call and I'll put those on my cheeks. So here's call. Just so you can see, like that's call. So that's really pretty on my skin tone as well. The next one on the other cheek I'll do, I'll do the color O and this is kind of like another white shade. Or I think it has a little bit of purple in it. So here's O. 
just another like normal highlight shade so as you can see that these are amazing some colors don't suit the white skin girls like the this dark um like this color right here would be great if you have like dark skin and then the pink is good if you are dark skin as well because those colors are just not for me obviously i'll probably use those for like eyeshadow or something i don't know but my overall review is these are a little bit powdery but if you tap your brush off it's fine they're silky smooth they're great beautiful colors there's a lot of colors in here that are good for like people that are light skin like me. There's a few colors in here that will look great on darker skin tones. So I definitely highly recommend this palette. It's cheap. I mean $20 isn't really cheap, but it's cheap. It's better than like an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, highlight kit, which those are like $30, $40. So yeah, that's my review. If you guys have any questions on this palette or any questions at all, please let me know in the comments and I will see my next video.